In this example, I want to show you a visualization in the complex plane for multiplying a complex number by the imaginary number i. So we'll look at two different examples and we'll see in both cases that multiplying by i just rotates a complex number counterclockwise 90 degrees in the complex plane. So here's our complex plane with the real number axis and the imaginary number axis. And our first example is the complex number 1. We could also think of this as 1 plus 0i. So drawing a line from the origin to our complex number will help us visualize the motion and the rotation that we're about to see. So multiplying 1 by i gives us i. So when we move our original number counterclockwise, we see that we are up along the imaginary axis now, and our rotation has been 90 degrees counterclockwise. We can continue this process and multiply by i again, and i times i is i squared, which is negative 1. And this will put us to the left of the origin on the real number axis again, another rotation counterclockwise of 90 degrees. So let's multiply by i yet again, and negative 1 times i is negative i, and that will put us below the origin along the imaginary axis again. And finally, negative i times i is negative i squared, which is positive 1, which takes us right back to where we started. So four counterclockwise 90 degree rotations takes us all the way around and back to where we started. Well, let's go ahead and look at a second example, one that's not on the unit circle. So let's use the complex number 3 plus 2i. So whenever I multiply that by i, I'll get 3i plus 2i squared, which when I simplify that will be negative 2 plus 3i. Well, let's see where this new number lands in the complex plane. It's right there. And notice the old number is kind of in a lighter red with a dashed line. And it looks like the relationship between the old and the new is a 90 degree angle. And we've gone counterclockwise. So let's take that negative 2 plus 3i and multiply that by i. And we'll get negative 2i plus 3i squared. And we simplify that, we'll get negative 3 minus 2i. And plotting that new complex number in the complex plane gives us yet another counterclockwise rotation around 90 degrees. Okay, so we're at negative 3 minus 2i. So let's multiply that by i. And we get negative 3i minus 2i squared, which when we simplify that gives us 2 minus 3i. Looks like that'll be in the fourth quadrant, and yet another 90 degree counterclockwise rotation. And finally, let's do it one last time, and we see that we're right back to where we started. So I just wanted to give you a quick visualization of what multiplying by i looks like in the complex plane. And ultimately, it's just going to be a counterclockwise rotation 90 degrees each time. So when you multiply by i four times, you're back to where you started. And of course, we knew that was going to be the case because what's i to the fourth? Well, 1. And when we multiply by 1, it doesn't change the value. Okay, well, thanks for checking out this visualization. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for more math videos.